Hello everyone and welcome to a bit of a different game. This is not Wolf Quest. This is a newer game, newer-ish. It's been around for a little bit, uh, but it's been in early access. It's actually been on my radar for a little while here, but I haven't gotten the chance to really play it on YouTube yet until now. This is The Wilds and this is a fun game because if you remember way back, it's been several years now, uh, we used to play the Ultimate Animal Animal series of games. They were mobile games. That was back when I used to use an emulator before I decided that emulators really haven't been working well for me. Um, they kept breaking on me. We used to play stuff like Ultimate Fox Simulator, I think was our probably our biggest running series in that. This is actually by the same developer. Uh, for a long time, that dev only did mobile games, but now has switched to doing PC games and uh, is working on the wilds, and it is actually available on Steam, and it's really exciting. Exciting. <laughs> I'm I'm quite eager to okay, we're gonna have to uh we're gonna have to snag this frog to figure out what it is. I can see that it's a frog. But you can see that we're un unlocking un encyclopedia entries here. Um but yeah, so this is the game by that same developer, and uh, it's it's been pretty interesting so far. I've played some of it off camera, not a whole ton, just enough to kind of figure out how it works, but enough that, not, enough that there's still going to be quite a lot for me to learn, and so I'm ex excited to check it out in more detail, and I think that's a wolf. Uh-oh. Uh, there's a lot of animals in this game. We can't actually play as a lot of them. Right now we are playing as a cougar, though this is Willow. She's going to be our player character for this series. And uh, wolves are one of the other playable species, but I don't think they're going to take too kindly to us uh, as a cougar here. We might want to mind our step just a little bit. So there's actually quite a few playable animals in this. Can we... Oh, oh we got it. We did get it. <laughs> um... There's actually quite a few playable animals in this. Uh, cougars are one of them. There's also bears. There's wolves. There are foxes. Uh, there's boars. There's elk. There's moose. Uh, there's, I think, ravens. And I think that's an eagle over there, which is one of the ant species as well. There's a lot of options. And uh, the, the dev is actively working on this game. So uh, there's likely to be more along the line, too. So we're probably going to play this game a few times if people are interested in it uh, with a few different stories. And and maybe, just maybe at some point, see a return of some of our older ones. Who knows? We'll have to find out. But for now, we're going to be starting off with Willow. She is a mountain lion or cougar or puma or whatever whatever name you call them by. It kind of varies from region to region. Um, she is a female and she's off by herself right now. She's quite young. Uh, but we're going to be kind of following the classic storyline. Trying to figure out what's tromping around down there. Oh, there it is. I see something in the bushes. The boar. Oh, I wonder if we can catch that boar. Um... But, whoop, <laughs> um, we're going to be following kind of the classic storyline where we do, oh, oh, wait, I forgot how the quick time events work. Oh, that's a bear. We don't want to mess with those. Oh, there's two bears. <laughs> All right. Well, that's, that's their problem now. Um, but yeah, we're going to be following our kind of classic story where we try to find a mate and have cubs. However, cougars are a little bit interesting that they don't usually mate for life. They really usually kind of just come together during the breeding season and then the male leaves to go do his own thing. So the game does not force us to do that, but in the spirit of the story, we're going to be kind of emulating that. So we will be finding a mate, but after we have had uh, cubs, we will re just remove him from the pack here. Is this... What kind of water is this? There is fresh water and salt water, and I think this is salt water. So you can also see we're unlocking all these uh, Atlas entries, too. Uh, there's a lot to learn about this game. I like that this is in there, but there is a lot to read, so that I might not always click through all of it on screen, but I will show a few things now. I think we haven't... Oh, and this game is in early access, so sometimes you're going to see weirdness like this. <laughs> um, it, it's fine. It is what it is. Uh, again, this game is developed by just one dev, which is honestly quite impressive, but uh, it's still still in early access, so there's going to be some issues to iron out. Here's the frog entry. We don't have a lot of entries unlocked here, but we do have the cougar. 
So you can see that there's a lot of interesting info about these creatures and uh, in the real world. But this is interesting because I think if we look at our map, I haven't really shown a lot of the interface. I think this is actually a den. And if I remember correctly, the first quest in our quest system here is going to be the Homeward Bound quest, which is animals need a safe and sheltered place where they can rest and care for their pack, seek out and claim a den. And I think we may have just achieved that. Let's go take a look. Oh, there's rats. Rats, rats, rats. Rats for dinner? No? <laughs> Sometimes it's a little precise. There we go. And we can kill shot it. <laughs> I, I do like that, that like, bite shake attack it's really really neat and i think technically we would have had the chance to do that with the boar and either one shot it or do serious damage i just forgot how that system worked and missed it <laughs> what is this I, I i guess even willow doesn't know let's give it a sniff squash okay we can't eat these i think some of the other species can sometimes you'll find stuff that um that you can't eat but uh, that you can still carry it around and stuff. I like that they still kind of let you interact with it. <laughs> oh my goodness! Except uh, it's a little again, a little, little bit, little bit, a uh, little bit janky sometimes. Um, let's drop that though. What is this? What is this? I want to smell flowers. I can sniff the flowers. Oh, what a lily! Okay, interesting. But I don't think we can do too much with that. However, this I think. Well, that I think is a carcass. Is this a carcass? It is a carcass. So that's food for us. You can also see, too, we have a little meter. We've got a bunch of little meters on the bottom left there. Uh, there's food, water, energy, health, temperature, and the one that just went up is experience. So we got a plus one animal level, and we got uh, experience from that. But I think we can actually claim the den with this thing. Is this right? I'm trying to remember how it works. Scent stone. And that has let us claim it in. You can see now it's marked as our home, and I think we should be able to complete this quest. There we go. So now we have It Takes Two, a pack of one isn't much of a pack. Find a lone animal of your same species to bond with. So Willow will now be seeking a mate, but as I mentioned, he won't be sticking around with us for very long. And I don't know, I think the time scale of this game is quite significant. Um... So I think there's usually three things you want to sniff out with the, these den. There we go. We also have this, uh, which I think is the bedding. But um, I think the time scale of this game is quite long, so I'm not sure how many episodes we'll have in the series or how condensed they'll be. It kind of depends on how much things happen. Sometimes this game can have a lot of downtime, and generally I trim out a lot of that. That's a bear. Generally, I trim out a lot of that in my series, so we'll see. I don't. It's either going to be a longer series, or we may just have more, um, more, more trimmed down episodes. It kind of just depends on how how much things are happening, uh, or how much we're we're just chilling. But I would like to try to get all the way through um, raising our cubs if we can, if we can keep them alive. I don't know if this game has permadeath or not. I, I suppose we'll find out. Uh, oh, goodness. Um, we'll have to see. I don't know. I, I've played some, but not too much, if you know what I mean. Like, I want to experience some things on camera, but I also feel like if I go into this with absolutely zero idea of what I'm doing, that that's not very interesting either. Also, uh, the way we settled on choosing a cougar is actually by a bit of a vote that I did in my supporter Discord server. So if you would like to support the channel, uh, you can do so on Patreon, uh, through Twitch subscriptions, or through YouTube channel memberships. And uh, all those things will give you access to the Discord server if you're over the age of 13. And we do a lot of fun things like there, like those community events that I show from time to time, or for... Um, oh, there's a lot of opportunities to participate in, like, identifying... Uh, traits and, and things for our wolf quest pups that sometimes make it into their personalities uh, or to s sometimes participate in polls and stuff like this like I asked people what they were more interested in seeing and this was the result so we're gonna be playing as a cougar first now we found a lookout point which I think gives us this really cool little cinematic here the basin of this area and we get to kind of look around here it's very pretty game like visually it is it, it's not 
it's not dense with foliage, but the the lighting and the the foliage that is here is very pretty. Visually, it's quite a nice game. Um, but yeah, I I think it's gonna be fun to explore and to get to uh, get to check out Willow's story here. But I think order of operation number one. We must have we must have missed a. Uh, there must have been, there must have been something that we scared. I think is that what that noise was. Um, I think order of operation number one is going to be continuing to find food. You kind of just have to keep hunting and eating things as you come across them in this game to gain experience, which I think upgrades your stats with time. Uh, but uh, order order business number one is going to be trying to find a mate, and so we actually have a number of vocalizations. We have this one is more of like a, a an aggressive one, I think. That I think is more defensive, or this one might just be kind of the generic. This is more of a hostile one, and then the important one that we have is that one which is kind of our call and response, but unfortunately it does not appear that there's anyone to respond to. So, uh, yeah, no other cougars in the area. We're gonna have to keep looking around. Oh, there's some boars over there. I think that might be enough to prompt Willow to drop the pumpkin she's been carrying around. She found that and uh, ha has been apparently finding it to be somewhat of interest. Uh, but I think this might be more of interest. Are we able? Oh, we did. We got a good hit on this one. Oh my gosh. Well, that went that went quickly. <laughs> this young boar was no match for us. So you can see when we land that quick time event, we're actually able to deal extra damage. Uh, but these boars are going to be good because you can see they give us quite a lot of food. And that's going to give us a fair amount of experience as well as, well as keeping our food up. Uh, I found that the, your vitals don't seem to be too difficult to, to keep up in most cases. But um, it's the experience that ends up being more challenging. I don't know how much that does or doesn't raise your stats. I'm a little bit less clear on the stats since maybe we'll figure that out as we play more. But I think it does raise your stats with time. Oh. That didn't do as much to the adult boar. We're gonna take some damage. You can see our, our our heart has gone down a little bit, but we still got this boar down. This looks like another den as well. Ooh, do we want to claim this one over our original home? I don't know. The one by the beach is really nice, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see, we'll think about it. There's gonna be a lot that we have uh, that we can uncover on the map that we should probably see about how we do that. But um, I think you can, you can also sleep and pass time, by the way. That's what this does. But we'll probably be doing that mostly between episodes we can claim. I mostly just want to uncover this. How do we, how do we discover this? Will this reveal the den if I sniff? Take a big sniff. Does that does that reveal the landmark? Oh, I think it does. Yes. Okay. So yeah, that'll that'll reveal the landmark. So then we can know that there is a den here. Where's my pumpkin? I want, my, I want to bring my pumpkin with me. No, is my pumpkin gone? No, it's over here. There we go. Oh, there's a carcass too. We should probably eat that before we go on our way. Oh, look at that. There's some deer down there. I wonder if we can jump them. Maybe literally. Whoa! Or not. Well, it's time to probably discover what the deer is. Oh, can we get it? Oh, we did! Oh my goodness, we got it all the way down. Quick, kill it, kill it, kill it! It's not completely gone! Oh my goodness. Okay, it's gonna try to fight back, but it's not gonna do too well. Oh, can we get you as well? Oh, sorry, little one, but uh, we, we need experience and you'll make for a good lunch. Let's also identify them too. I don't know what kind of deer there are. There's also different variants of animals. So this is a fallow deer, um, but there's different kinds. So we're a, a North American cougar, I believe. And uh, these guys are apparently fallow deer, but we might encounter other varieties as we explore the world. Oh. Well, that was a raccoon, but... Oh, no, it still is. 
but it's gonna be dinner. Oh, he's trying to fight us. Where did he go? He's over here. They do kind of try to get behind you, I've noticed. Oh, and down he goes. There we go. Let's identify. You should be a good snack for us, though. Uh, you can also have multiple animals in the save file, so you can have um, one pack of each species, pretty much, uh, per save. So when you unlock these guys, you actually can set up... Um, set up different animals within the same save file. You can also just have different save files, which is probably what we'll do. The advantage of that is that you kind of share the encyclopedia, the unlocks and such not, so you don't have to go through unlocking all of those th things and investigating all of those things the second time. Oh, interesting. There's a huge nest up in that tree. I bet that's for the birds because there are eagles and ravens that are playable. I can't get up there, can I? Just out of curiosity. Just out of curiosity. Nope. Oh. Hello? Are... Are you a friend? I heard sniffing and then I noticed there's another cougar. I... I think you may be a friend. Bond. It does allow us to bond. Does this mean we can become mates? Oh, it looks like it. So this is the new cougar we've just welcomed. This is a male, also one year and zero months. It's the same age as Willow. Uh, so, uh, yeah, one experience. <laughs> Technically, with these guys, you can also switch between your animals. So we can actually play as this guy instead of Willow, and there's Willow. But with the cougars, because they don't uh, typically... Like, they, they really don't typically stay together. Um, we won't be keeping this guy around long term. But if we play as other species that do spend longer together... Goodness, Willow's so tiny. <laughs> I forgot how small she was. Uh, but if we do play a species that will, um, that will have, um, or that, that, that do stay together longer term, oops, I gotta actually switch back to Willow, then, um, we'll probably keep them, we'll probably keep them around. And we'll see. I don't actually know if permadeath is a thing in this game, so I don't know if, like, if your mate can die or your pups or cubs can die. But uh, depending on if that's enabled or not, we might develop some form of challenge for that just to make it more interesting if we play this game long term. But that's something you guys will have to tell me is if you want to see more of this game. I do want to play it more with Willow, so don't worry. There will be at least a few more episodes here. Uh, but uh, if you guys want to see more of us checking out the other species, maybe even integrating this into our long-term play, considering there are so many different animals that we can play as and the game is in active development, then that is something that we might be able to do. And in fact, there's also a den here, which is interesting. I think we'll actually claim this den because with these two, we'll leave them to their uh, own devices for a little bit. But uh, when we return, I think it'll be about time to meet Willow's cubs. So we may not see too much of this guy uh, after this. <laughs> it's probably going to be a, a hello and goodbye for him. However, uh, his legacy will go on and Willow's will go on. And we'll have to meet the newcomers. Can I jump up here? Can I park? park Parkour was a mistake. <laughs> um, we'll have to meet the new babies when we come back in the next episode. So let me know if you want to see more of this. Let me know if you want to see more of Will. Let me know if you want to see it more with other species as well. And maybe if you guys really like this game, it'll be one that we see return more ongoing. It definitely affords us quite a few options. But I think we are going to go ahead and leave this off here for today because it is getting to be about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.